Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We saw the obvious reversal signal in the markets this, this week. Anytime you see an uptrend, we had the prospects of a bullish uh, bobble breakout. However, on Thursday, when the fear, uh, oh, when the, uh, I guess it was the uh, reporting of the interest rates were, uh, or of uh, inflation, I'm sorry, it was up seven and a half percent. That initially knocked the market down and then they started it back up. However, when the feds came out and said there was more than likely be raising uh, rates by a full basis point, I'm sorry, by a full uh, percentage point before June, that started the selling. And you could see that dramatically on the 10 minute chart, but that was a good indication. As soon as they came back down through the open, where it opened at the previous day's open, the bears were in control and not only in control, but in strong control. And then you could see, obviously the uh, confirmed that on Friday. This would imply that at least the next support level is back down to this area. But the implication is you probably want to be predominantly short and any long positions at this point should have very compelling reasons to be long. The same scenario over here in the NASDAQ, that gap down below the previous day's open was an immediate alert that there was a dramatic change of investor sentiment. Anytime you see that, be prepared to start closing out long positions that are showing weakness and getting ready to go short, which obviously Friday confirmed what is now a bearish flutter kicker signal. And that is one of your strongest reversal signals in the sense that if you took out this little flutter, you've got a bearish kicker signal, which again, the kicker signal is your strongest individual candlestick uh, signal. This would indicate wave one, wave two, now the prospects of a wave three to the downside. So right now, there's only a couple of sectors that are acting strong. The oil stocks obviously are working well, gold and silver, and the retails had strong sell signals. So your gold and silver stock, like an SBSW, is based upon the kicker signal that came up through the obvious resistance level of the 200-day moving average that everybody else would be watching doing kind of this J-hook pattern, would not be afraid to be buying this one on positive trading on Monday. The oil sector, we recommended last week because crude oil prices have consistently traded above or above the T-line and moved up. So I think crude oil finished up in around the $94 barrel level on uh, Friday. But as long as crude oil prices stay strong, that whole sector is going to stay strong. We saw some very weak signals or bearish signals in the retail stocks. Anytime you can see, obviously in this case, a failure at the 50 with a bearish best friend signal. Remember, that's one of your strongest uh, reversal signals with a lot of power to the downside. You can already see that you were in a downtrend. You came up, hit the resistance level, and they sold it off hard. That's a strong implication. This downtrend is going to remain in progress. There are numerous stocks with very strong sell signals. We started shorting a firm uh, based upon that big bearish engulfing signal reversal, closing below the T-line. And you could already see there was a downtrend. So pretty much analyzing in one visual glance that this is a weak stock and when it came up, they did a strong sell signal. That implication is they are still selling this stock off uh, based upon that bearish engulfing signal. Twist, another one with a bearish flutter kicker signal, stochastics rolling over. You can see you are in a downtrend. Look for a bearish J-hook pattern. Wave one, wave two, wave three being the same magnitude as wave one. So again, this is not rocket science. 
This is just analyzing what's going on in investor sentiment, what the nature of the existing uh, price trend is. We were buying puts on ADI because the failure right here at the 50, I'm sorry, at the 200, which was also a support level a while back. But now this has the prospects of a wave one, wave two, trading lower on Monday, puts this into wave three. You can see the stochastics starting to roll over. So as long as your indexes are showing strong sell signals, obviously the bias should be to the short side. So this is where the candlestick investor gets a huge advantage from seeing exactly what's going on in investor sentiment. And unlike me many years ago before candlesticks came along, I'd be sitting there hoping that things would turn around instead of now being able to see what actually is going on in the, a market trend. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.